The human body is made up of several organ systems that work together as a unit to make sure the body keeps functioning. Good health involves proper functioning of all body organs. Many activities take place in our body and these functions are interconnected also. When these life activities are in equilibrium, we can say that our body is healthy. Let's study about some disease-causing microorganisms like bacteria, virus, fungus, and protozoa. Bacteria are unicellular organisms without definite nucleus. Based on the shape, bacteria are classified into different groups. Sphere-shaped coccus, rod-shaped bacillus, and spiral-shaped spirillum. Pneumonia, Isis, throat infection, tuberculosis, tetanus, typhoid, syphilis, and cholera are the main bacterial diseases. Viruses cause many common human infections and are also responsible for a number of rare diseases. They have to be considered as a real threat to human health. Viruses cause a variety of diseases from common cold to AIDS. Outside of the host cells, viruses are inactive. However, inside living cells, viruses show some of the characteristics of living things. The most common type of viral diseases are the common cold, dengue fever, poliomyelitis, Japanese encephalitis, measles, chickenpox, hepatitis, mumps, etc. The protozoans are unicellular organisms having a specific nucleus. They have different shapes. Their locomotion is by the help of pseudopodia, flagella or cilia, amoeba, paramecium, trypanosome, etc. are examples of protozoa. Protozoa can cause some diseases such as dysentery, malaria, etc. Fungi are the principal decomposers in every ecosystem. The enzymes released by fungus destroy our cells. They cause many diseases. Fungus causes several diseases. It causes patches on skin, athlete's food, ringworm, etc. Some fungi cause food poisoning. Diseases can spread in a variety of ways. Air, through contaminated food and water, from direct or indirect contact with another person, and also through insects. Insects like mosquitoes, lice, fleas, bedbugs, and ticks are able to transmit a number of diseases. Mosquitoes play an important role in spread of many diseases. When a mosquito bites an infected human or animal, it can pick up a virus along with the blood meal. The mosquito and virus do not harm one another, but the virus reproduces inside the mosquito. Later, the mosquito can pass the virus to other humans when biting them. The mosquitoes breed mostly in stagnated water. Malaria is transmitted by Anopheles mosquitoes and Filariasis is transmitted by Culex mosquitoes. Aedes aegypti spreads dengue fever and chikungunya. The most important step in controlling mosquito breeding is to eliminate the potential breeding sources. This can be done by keeping the surroundings clean and free from any potential mosquito breeding sites. Areas of stagnant water is where mosquitoes breed quickly. 
Diseases carried by house flies include cholera, dysentery, typhoid, etc. When flies land on things like food scraps, manure, feces, or dead animals, they pick up disease carrying gems. The gems are carried on their hairy bodies, legs, and in their stomach. When the flies land on things like food, cups, knives, and plates, the gems can be passed on to these articles. If people then eat the food or use these articles when eating food, they will get the gems into their bodies. So cooking in untidy surroundings and eating exposed food will increase the chance of many infectious diseases. The germs which cause diseases like cold, influenza, tuberculosis, mumps, chicken pox and measles, etc. are spread through air. When infected people cough, sneeze or talk, they propel the germs into the air. The person with this type of diseases should cover their nose and mouth with a handkerchief while cough or sneeze to reduce the risk of transmission. Contaminated water and exposed foods are often sources of many diseases. Cholera, typhoid and dysentery are some diseases which are spread through food and water. Another way in which one gets infected with disease-causing germs is the actual contact with the patients. Itches and scabies are examples of diseases that spread through contact. Leprosy is another example. Now, let us study about some diseases. Dengue fever Dengue fever is a viral disease caused by a flavivirus. It is transmitted to people by Aedes genus mosquitoes, which reproduces in stagnant water locations around habitations. Chikungunya. This is an emerging viral disease caused by alpha virus. Chikungunya is spread by Aedes mosquitoes. An infected person cannot spread the infection directly to other persons and there is no specific treatment for chikungunya. Swine flu. Swine flu or H1N1 is an infection caused by influenza AH1N1 virus. H1N1 virus spread mainly by droplets made when people with flu cough, sneeze or talk. Leptospirosis Leptospirosis is a bacterial disease that affects humans and animals. It is caused by a strain of bacteria called Leptospira icterohemorrhagiae. It is transmitted by both wild and domestic animals. The most common animals that spread the disease are rats, mice and moles. It is often transmitted by animal urine or water containing animal urine coming into contact with breaks in the skin, the eyes, mouth, nose, etc. Malaria Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease that affects human and other animals. This is caused by parasitic protozoans. Commonly, the disease is transmitted by the bite of an infected Anopheles mosquito. Disease transmission can be reduced by controlling mosquito breeding. Rabies Rabies is spread to humans from another animal, commonly by a bite or scratch. Infected saliva that comes into contact with any mucous membrane is also a risk. Globally, most cases are the result of dog bite. Once the symptoms of rabies appear, 
Even the modern medical science cannot rescue the victim. So treatment should be done before the poison reaches the brain. A genetic disease or disorder is the result of changes or mutations in an individual's DNA. Genetic diseases are diseases passed by heredity, not due to infection. A defect in genes is the reason for these types of diseases. Sickle cell anemia and hemophilia are major examples for genetic diseases. Sickle cell anemia Sickle cell anemia is an inherited disorder of the hemoglobin in blood. In sickle cell anemia, the red blood cells become rigid and sticky and are shaped like sickles. The sickle-shaped red blood cells break apart easily. These irregularly shaped cells can get stuck in small blood vessels, which can slow or block blood flow and oxygen to parts of the body. Hemophilia Hemophilia is a rare bleeding disorder in which the blood does not clot normally. Even small wounds can cause severe blood loss that may lead to death. This disease is due to a gene mutation in the sex chromosome. It is also known by the name Royal Disease and Bleeders Disease. The growth and development of our body is dependent on the division of cells. Genes in the chromosomes control all the activities of the cells. These genes are the foundation and determinant of genetic structure. In some circumstances, genes undergo mutation. As a result, cells begin to lose their foundation structure and also get mutated. These mutated cells multiply uncontrollably and destroy other cells by consuming the nutrients meant for them. These kind of cells are also known as cancer cells. They are capable of reaching other parts of the body from their place of origin through the blood circulatory system. The cancer cells start multiplying throughout the body. The diagnosis during the initial early stages will help to prevent cancer from spreading throughout the body. Mainly three types of treatments are given to treat cancer. Surgery, radiotherapy, and chemotherapy. Some foods that use excessive pesticides result in cancerous foods. Hence, in the modern world, foods can also be an agent of harm. Carcinogens or cancer-causing agents are the following. Chemical traces in food, excessive exposure to chemicals or toxic materials, intake of liquor, tobacco, narcotics are considered the main reason for cancer. Environmental pollution is also another modern cause for the rise in cancer. Like animals, plants too are affected by diseases. Coconut bud rot, choleroga in arachnid, quick wilt in pepper are examples of fungal diseases transmitted through air. Bunchy top of banana mosaic disease in the pea plant and tapioca are examples of viral diseases that are transmitted by pests namely wilt disease in brinjal and blight disease in the paddy plant are some bacterial diseases <laughs>